You know what? I've got that presentation to type. How can I make it more interesting? I still got time. Let's play some games, bud. What's that message? Oh, uh, you know what? I think I know what I'll do. I'll change the fonts. Hey, welcome back to Baird Squid. On this channel, we do simplifying educational tech using the iPad. In today's session, I'm gonna show you how we can do custom fonts system-wide on the iPad. We're gonna be using a utilities application called iFont. So just go to the App Store and download this application here. This is iFont. Find, install any font that you want system-wide, okay? Once you've downloaded this application, I'll show you where we can find custom fonts online for free. Go into your web browser, in this case Safari, and just type in free fonts. And then um, you'll get the top main hitters, which is 1001 free fonts. You've got DeFont, uh, which is what we're gonna be talking about today. You've got Font Squirrel. Uh, you've got Urban Fonts. There's so many different uh, free websites that you've got here. We're just gonna go to DeFont, okay? And in DeFont, um, there's hundreds of different uh, free custom fonts that you can download using iFonts on your iPad, or for that case, any iOS device, even your iPhone as well, yeah? What do we do here? Just make sure that when you do uh, download these fonts that they're free for personal use or public domain, okay? Just a little disclaimer here. The fonts, are all the fonts free of charge? Well, no, they're not. And it says the fonts presented on the website um, are the author's property, which is fantastic, okay? Um, they're either freeware, shareware, or basically demo versions, or the public domain. Please look at the README files in the archives or check the indicated author's website for details and contact him or her if you're in doubt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look for some free fonts. What I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna click on new fonts uh, and then just go down to more options and then from here you can do public domain. So these are free for you to use, okay? Press on submit and then you will get uh, all the free fonts. There are loads of fonts, to be honest, yeah? Free for 100% um, free, look, if I click on 100% free, free for personal use, if I click on these and then I submit, you'll see there's loads of fonts here. Uh, look, 321 pages of fonts. So let's just click on one of these fonts, okay? Um, if you're looking for a particular font style, you can type that in as well. So for example, if you want a round font and we press enter in the search menu here, you can see some of the round fonts that come up, okay? So this is 100% free. Let's just go ahead and download this one. So if you click on the download button, there'll be a little pop-up dialog box prompting you to download the zip file. So let's go ahead and download this. And then if you click on this little arrow, you can see your um, download progress. That's a really small file, okay? Six kilobytes is a tiny little file, so it's really quick to download. Now, th now that we've downloaded it, we don't need to do anything with it. Just go to iFonts, okay? And in iFonts, what you need to do, it will normally be here on the installer. You're gonna to go to find font, okay? So font finder, and then open files, and then this will open up your downloads folder on uh, the files app, okay? So it will just open up the download folder. And from here, you can select that zip, and then it will show you the font, and then you can say import the font, okay? So once you've imported it to iFonts, you need to go back to the installer, and then click on install. This will tell you the website is trying to download the configuration profile. Do you want to allow it? Yes, you do. You want to allow this profile to be downloaded. And then it says profile is downloaded. Review the profile in settings app. So close this out and press done and then go to your settings over here. And then you'll see that there's a profile downloaded here. So click on the profile and it will prompt you to now install or cancel this profile altogether. We want to install it. We'll click on install. You need to put in your password and then uh, press on install and then again press on install and then press on done. So now that profile installs that font system wide. Okay, so we can use that font in any application that allows you to choose a custom font. Okay, so like Word or Excel or Pages, any application that allows you to change the font, you can use that font now, yeah? So I'm just gonna go into GoodNotes and you can see here, I've been uh, trying some of these fonts. It says lesson one, don't worry, this font ain't gonna put you to sleep, not boring versus this is boring. Okay, and let's change it to that font that we just downloaded. So let's go here and select our font and let's go down to R. Here we are, look, roundy. So look at this, you've changed the font and made it far more interesting 
in creating our resources, our presentations. It just makes it so much more fun, yeah? So try this out for yourself. If you found that helpful, then drop me a like. I'll be sure to put the link of the app in the description below and I'll add some of the websites as well. Um, please consider subscribing, turn on notifications, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>